stage. Thank you, John. So coming up, we have a special appearance. We had a few people that weren't able to make it today. Can you hear me now? Oh. Um, so I have Frank Ginka, who's here, who would like to speak. Um, I'll let him take the stage. Thanks, Ryan. Hey guys, uh, I just got back from Washington, D.C. last week. I'm honored to serve as your congressman in Washington, D.C. I want to thank Aaron and Joanne for everything that they're doing here in my hometown of Manchester. Um, look, this is a challenge that we all face together. We are one family, one community, one city, one state, one country. And we are going to make sure that we do everything we can to help those who face uh, the sickness and the illness of addiction. The first thing we need to continue to do is remind everybody that this is an illness and that with a lot of cooperative help, we can provide alternatives and treatment to individuals who face addiction. I serve as in Washington, D.C. As, as the chairman of the Bipartisan Task Force to Combat Heroin and Opioid Abuse, and we have 80 members of Congress who are on the task force. And I'm very pleased to announce that after a year of working with the House and the Senate, uh, the legislation that you may have heard of and have been following, the Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, was signed yesterday into the law by the President of the United States. So your voice does matter. Those families who traveled to Washington, D.C. to testify before our committee, those who met with Senate leaders and the President, have an impact. And please don't ever think you do not have an impact because you do. Your voice matters in everything that we try to do and accomplish on behalf of those who require our assistance. So this legislation is sweeping legislation. The most important thing it's going to do is add dollars for treatment and recovery and beds, which is something we desperately need here in our state and in our city. So I'm pleased to be here fighting with you and for you. If there's anything we can ever do as an office, we have an office right down here on Wall Street. Please come in and let us know what we can do to help. Um, but I'm looking forward to making sure that we save our city because this is not this is this is our this is our city. Thank you very much. But it's also my home. You know, my wife and I live here. I used to be mayor of this city. We live here. We're not running away from the problem. We're going to face it head on. And I particularly want to thank the mayor Ted Gatzis for his leadership in what he's doing, opening up the firehouses, bringing people in, giving him giving people the opportunity. Uh, to, to have that assistance and help. So thank you for being here. Let's not stop, let's keep moving forward. And it's a pleasure to be with you and it's a pleasure to be fighting with you. Take care, have a great day.